Hi everyone, this is Anthony Rees from the HP Helion Cloud Team and today I'm going to talk to you about the quickest way to get the Helion developer platform up and running. The HP Helion development platform is based on Cloud Foundry and it uses a staccato interface. Um, we'll see that a little bit later. But the quickest way to get it up and running really is to go off and create yourself a HP Helion public cloud account. Uh, our public cloud runs on Helion OpenStack and you can get yourself some free cloud credit, um, which means that you can create yourself a free account. Uh, once you've created that account, uh, you can then log into your account and you can, you can go off and you can launch a new instance. So basically go and launch yourself uh, a new instance and use the following uh, image. You need to give that a name and uh, it just needs to be an extra small image, that's fine. You need to boot from an image and the image that you need to select is the HP Helion Development Platform Application Lifecycle Service Installer. Okay, so make sure you choose the, the installer. The installer will then go off and create the ALS seed that you'll require. Uh, you're also going to require a key pair, so you need to go and create yourself a public and private key pair and use your default security settings. Uh, networking is fine, you can just use your standard NIC uh, and then you can go off and launch that. So just while uh, our, ins our installer is spawning, uh, we'll just go and associate ourselves a floating IP address. And the floating IP address is going to be 15.126.200.206. That'll allow us to SSH onto that machine. So we're just going to go and SSH onto the machine now. Um, I've also, in the SSH uh, connection, I've also specified uh, the private key that we'll be using. So let's go, and the username is Debian as well. So let's go and log on to that machine. Just accept the warning. And there we go. Then what we're going to use is we're going to use the Python script, which will help us to automatically do our configuration. Now, the thing is, with the username and the password, you need to use your HP Helion Cloud account username and password. So don't try and make up a new one. You need to use your HP Helium Cloud account. Uh, the next section, it wants to know what services you want available as part of the ALS. So basically just type out all the services you want and put a comma separation in between each one of them. And then we need to have the first user's uh, admin email. So I'll just use my... and then the admin user password YouTube and create an instance yes so that'll go off and it will create the services required for the ALS cluster um, because basically the uh, the application development platform is really a cluster um, of uh, virtualized uh, cloud instances that are running uh, which allow you to be able to elastically control your load uh, within the cloud. So that'll go take go off and take probably about, about 10 minutes to go and set itself up. Um, and we'll come back in a second when it's finished. Okay, so that's taken about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. And as you can see, that the HP Helion ALS cluster is now ready. And it's set up the following services, the MySQL, the file system, Redis, Postgres, um, SQL, and um, RabbitMQ as well. And uh, it's given me a web UI. And if we go and have a look back in my OpenStack public cloud instance, you'll see that the installer has now created the seed node for me. And that seed node is where my ALS is actually running. So we can now go and log on to that. Okay, so that's the way that it works. So we're we'll just going to take a copy of the web UI, open a new browser window, just redirect ourselves to the console, 
and you need to remember the um, administration user ID and the password that you created. So if you remember, mine was just my uh, email address and my password was YouTube, and in we go. So this is the Staccato interface. Um, you have the ability to download the client if you want to run by command line. Uh, you can modify all your account details. Uh, we can also go and deploy sample applications. So there's already a number of sample applications that are available for you to, uh, to install. Uh, they all uh, utilize the GitHub repository um, from Staccato and they're basically controlled by a YAML file. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but there's plenty of applications that you can go and test this out with. And when you, when you do deploy something, um, you will be able to control it um, and the elasticity as well. So we'll just go and deploy an app. We'll just go and deploy um, a version of Bugzilla. So we'll just tell it to go and deploy that for us. And just while that's deploying off in the background, um, if you do go into the cloud controller area, um, you'll be able to see the sample applications that are um, that are available for you. And if we go and view one of those, you'll see that they're just a YAML file which defines the, the source of where that application is going to come from. Okay. So it's just a, a YAML file which defines the store from where it's coming from and it defines each one of the applications. Uh, so the application requires a source. Uh, in this particular case, it's going to the Staccato Apps um, GitHub um, source and uh, it'll then pick up the information about it uh, to be able to go in and install it for you. Okay, so it's pretty simple really. You can of course create your own, um, so you can go and clone one of these YAML files, uh, go and store your own one in uh, GitHub, for example, and you can uh, use that to go and instantiate your own um, applications. Okay. Uh, just remember if it's HTTPS, uh, sometimes it has a bit of trouble connecting to that. So as you can see, uh, our Bugzilla application uh, is kicking off here. In the log stream, we can see um, how that installation is going and we can track it and, and look for any errors. And if we go into the instances area, uh, we can turn the auto scaling on and you can set the CPU threshold uh, and you can also uh, set the amount of instances that will be triggered, um, which will be able to elastically control it based on load. So the more load that you uh, you put onto this particular application, um, in, this, in this particular case, it'll be able to uh, elastically expand itself out to uh, to seven instances or drop back to one depending on how much load you're putting on it. The Cloud Foundry um, Staccato interface has obviously a lot of features uh, out of the box that you can play with. Um, it really is a fantastic platform as a service and a great way to uh, explore Cloud Foundry, uh, the Helium development platform and of course uh, the HP Helium public cloud which is running on Helium OpenStack. Uh, so all in all you can get yourself up and running in about 25 minutes. Um, I hope this video has been uh, helpful to you. If you've got any questions uh, feel free to send them to me uh, on my YouTube channel uh, and um, yeah look and enjoy it and uh, make use of the trial account that's available to you. Thanks very much for your time everyone. Bye.